एम बी बी एस अब्रॉड वर्सेज बी एच एम एस और बी डी एस हैव यू ऑलवेज ड्रीम्ड ऑफ बिकमिंग अ डॉक्टर बट डिड एंड गेट इन टू एम बी बी एस इन इंडिया आर यू नाउ थिंकिंग शुड आई जस्ट डू बी डी एस और बी एच एम एस इंस्टिट वेट बिफोर यू चूज अ बैकअप यू विल रिग्रेट वॉच दिस वीडियो यू माइट स्टिल बी एबल टू डू एम बी बी एस अब्रॉड एंड इट कुड बी द बेस्ट डिसीजन ऑफ योर करियर लेट्स से यू हैव जस्ट रिसीव्ड योर नीट रिजल्ट मे बी यू डिडेंट स्को इनफ टू गेट अ गवर्नमेंट एम बी बी एस सीट इन इंडिया एंड द प्राइवेट कॉलेज फीस आर जस्ट आउट ऑफ रीच नाउ वॉट मोस्ट स्टूडेंट्स एंड पेरेंट्स हिट दिस क्रॉस रोड शुड वी गो फॉर एम बी बी एस अब्रॉड और शुड वी टेक एम बी बी एस इन बी डी एस और बी एच एम एस हेयर इन इंडिया जस्ट टू स्टे इन द कंट्री At first glance, BDS and BHMS might feel like safer, more familiar options. You stay in India, the degree sounds medical, and you think at least I will have a stable career. But what if I told you that going abroad for MBBS might actually be the smarter, more career-proof option? In this video, we are going to break it down. What actually happens when you choose BDS or BHMS in India how does it compare to doing MBBS abroad and most importantly what gives you a better return on your money time and future if you are stuck between options and wondering what's best for a medical career long term this video might just clear it up for you Let's start with what really happens when students choose BDS or BHMS as a backup option. The reality of BDS or BHMS in India. Now, don't get me wrong. Dentistry and homeopathy are both respected fields. But the truth is, most students who take up BDS or BHMS didn't originally dream of becoming a dentist or a homeopathy practitioner. they wanted to become a doctors but when mbbs didn't work out in india they choose the next available option and that's where the problem begins let's talk about bds first india has thousands of dental colleges and every year over 25000 plus dental graduates enter the job market but here is the catch there is just are not enough jobs many government dental positions remain limited and private practice takes year to build even then income levels stay modest unless you own a clinic and invest heavily most fresh bds graduates earn anywhere between 3 to 6 lakhs per year if they are lucky and that's after investing 10 to 30 lakhs in college fees and 5 years of time the return on investment is just not there for the majority Now let's look at BHMS homeopathy as a career is even more niche. Yes it has a following in India but the opportunities after graduation are very limited. It's not recognized in most developed countries and students often find themselves stuck between doing a masters in something unrelated or leaving the field altogether. The salary range offer 2 lakh to 4 lakh per year and even that isn't guaranteed without extra certification or setting up a clinic which takes time and more money another big issue with both bds and bhms is the lack of global mobility you can't really use those degrees to practice abroad most countries didn't recognize them so once you have gone down that path your options narrow significantly so here is the reality BDS and BHMS are not backup options they are different career tracks altogether and unless you are truly passionate about dentistry or homeopathy choosing them out of pressure or confusion might cost you years of your life and lakhs of rupees with no clear future but what if there was another path that still led you to becoming a full fledged doctor globally or in india that's where mbbs abroad comes in why mbbs abroad is a smarter alternative 
Let's talk about MBBS abroad. First, let's clear a common myth. A lot of people assume MBBS abroad means poor quality education or shady colleges. That's not true if you choose the right country and the right university. In countries like Russia, Georgia, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Bangladesh, Philippines, Nepal, Timor Leste, you can study in WHO recognized universities that follow the international medical curriculum and also follow NMC norms. The degrees are valid in India as long as the college is also in English. So what are the actual benefits? You still become a doctor, that's the dream, right? You get an MBBS degree, same duration as India, same structure, clinical exposure, that is also included. It keeps the door open for practicing in India or abroad. Cost effective. MBBS abroad typically costs between 25 to 30 lakhs, depending on the country. Compare that to private MBBS in India, which can go 80 lakhs to 1.5 CR, and suddenly MBBS abroad looks like a far better investment. Better return on investment once you clear the next exam. Or exams like USMLE or PLAB or AMC, you can start earning as a licensed doctor. In India, even an MBBS graduate from abroad can earn 10 to 12 lakhs per year to start with much higher than a BDS or BHMS graduates. Global opportunities. If you study abroad, you are exposed to global systems, England, English-based learning and cross-culture medicine that opens doors for PG abroad, especially in countries like the US, UK, Germany, Australia or Canada after clearing the right exams. So MBBS abroad doesn't close your options. If anything, it keeps more of them open. You can come back and work in India after clearing next or go abroad with USMLE or PLAB or even settle in the country where you studied depending on their local licensing. Let's now look at the bigger picture. How does MBBS abroad compare to BDS or BHMS when it comes to career options, income and life outcomes? Career comparison, MBBS abroad versus BDS versus BHMS. Let's break this down clearly, point by point. Career path and flexibility, MBBS abroad. You can practice in India after clearing next. You can also go for PG in India or abroad. You can even get into clinical research, hospital management or international medical work also. BDS, you can only practice dentistry. PG option exists but are super competitive and don't guarantee a high paying job unless you build a clinic. BHMS, you are limited to practicing homeopathy. Very few recognized PG options and most countries don't accept homeopathic medicine as part of their health system. Income potential, MBBS abroad after clearing licensing exams, doctors can earn 10 to 12 lakhs per annum starting with a strong potential for growth. PG or super specialization can push that even further, especially abroad. BDS, initial income is low, 3 to 6 lakhs per annum for freshers. Building a private clinic can improve earning, but it requires investment and time. BHMS, most freshers earn under 4 lakhs per annum. Success depends heavily on location, reputation and additional training. Cost of education, MBBS abroad, 25 to 30 lakhs, including tuition, including living cost. BDS, 10 to 30 lakhs. BHMS, 8 to 15 lakhs. So you are investing lakhs in all three, but only one of them has a high global earning potential and flexibility. MBBS abroad, global recognition. MBBS from a good university abroad is internationally recognized. BDS and BHMS are mostly limited to India unless you repeat education abroad. Career satisfaction. Most students who study MBBS abroad do so because they genuinely want to be a doctor. They are more driven and their path feels aligned with their original goal. In contrast, 
Students who go into BDS or BHMS as a backup often end up switching fields or feeling stuck. So if you are someone who is serious about becoming a doctor and you could not crack MBBS in India, MBBS abroad is the most logical next step. It gives you a real chance to build a successful respected medical career with options in India and around the world. Final thoughts and what you should do next. So now that you have seen the full picture, what's the smartest move if you truly want to become a doctor? It comes down to this. If you have the passion for medicine and you are willing to put in the effort, MBBS abroad gives you the best value for your time, money and career, especially when compared to doing BDS or BHMS just because you didn't get into a government MBBS college in India. Let's be honest, choosing BDS or BHMS as a second option is a compromise. You might get a degree, but the career growth is limited. The income potential is lower and your opinions for going abroad are almost non-existent unless we start over. But MBBS abroad is not a compromise. It's an alternative route to the same destination. You still become a doctor, you still get to serve patients, build a respected career and earn a good living. And if you plan well, you can even settle abroad as a licensed medical professional. Here is what you should do next. Do your research, find out which countries and universities are NMC approved, have a strong English curriculum and offer solid clinical exposure. Understand the exams, whether you want to come back to India or move abroad. You will need to clear NAXT or USMLE or PLAB or AMC or other licensing exams. Start understanding the pattern early. It makes a big difference. Talk to experts like us. Every student situation is different. If you need help comparing universities, understanding visa rules or planning your global strategy, get proper guidance. And if you are serious about this journey, we are here to help. At Mentor Universe, we have guided thousands of students in building medical careers in India, the US, UK and beyond. Whether you are still in 12th, already exploring options or even confused between two paths, we can walk you through everything step by step. So if you are ready to make a smart choice and keep your dream of becoming a doctor alive. Attend one of our valuable workshops and join our Global Scholars Initiative. We will help you figure out your best path. No pressure, just honest advice. And don't forget to like this video, share it with someone who needs to hear this and subscribe to our channel for more global career guidance. See you in the next one and all the best you will become a doctor if you are serious about your dream and fulfilling it too thank you